Jeremy Schaap from ESPN filling in this week for the much more talented and funny John Anderson NFL Draft just a couple of days away. And of course, draft time means suits. Suits for college football players who aren't used to wearing suits. How are they going to be dressed at the draft? We're at Portobello in Midtown Manhattan, which has been dressing athletes for decades to find out what they should wear. Portobello is a place that has been dressing athletes for a long, long time. And when it's draft time, this is a place where they very likely might end up if they need the perfect suit to convey the perfect message to all those general managers out there. And we are with the store's manager, Joel. Let's pretend, and I know this is a difficult exercise, that I'm Mark Sanchez from USC. Yeah. I'm going to be on national TV. I'm going to be dressed up nice, I would hope, for the draft. What should I be wearing? Football players, Football players are more standing out than baseball players. More flamboyant. Yeah, football that's players. the word. So could you not be compensating no. for shyness no. by wearing flamboyant you clothing? Got, that's that's what I do. Different. Stuff like this with vests with a lot of oh, buttons. I like that. Okay. Oh, not just a vest, too. It's like a double-breasted vest. Oh, you know style. I, 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 I know double-breasted. I don't believe it. You know style. No one's ever accused me of knowing style. Pocket. This is this is very... Actually, you know, I, uh, you know it's, it's not the typical ABC News look. No, it's not. But I think on ESPN it might work. Now we're at the Condé Nast building now on 42nd Street. This is the home of Vogue, and these people know fashion. Do you really think it matters to the teams how these guys dress? I don't think it really matters that much to the team. I just think it shows and says something about you as a person. And also, you have agents who should be telling you how to dress. I mean, the last thing you want to do, just like a celebrity, is go out in something that's bad, especially when you have a stylist or an agent that should be telling you differently. Just coincidentally, you know, we happen to bump into the man who runs the New Yorker magazine, David Remnick, the multi-Pulitzer Prize winning editor and reporter. David, what are you going to wear in the NFL draft this week? I think it's definitely a Aloha shirt and a Hawaiian skirt. What else does anybody wear? You know, that... That's that sounds right. I mean, this emphasis on wearing suits that suggests seriousness. So boring. It's boring. So boring. Right. So dull. Yeah. But I think Anna Wintour is her interview. That's who you've got. We'll to get her. To. Thank you, David. <laughs> so all this talk about the wardrobe for the draft, what to wear, has got me thinking. I don't know what I should wear now. These are college kids, after all. So you know, if you do tweed, that that would make sense, right? I'm not a suit guy. I don't. But I don't wear suits on TV. I don't. Believe in it. That's a good point. Sports. What, what message, though, are you trying to send to general managers with what you wear? What are they looking for from you? you know, what, what, what do you mean? I'm having fun. So it's tie a pick-me-up. It's a big day. It's a fun day. But it's football. You know, clothes make the man. But Saturday at the NFL draft, what the players will remember won't be those suits they were wearing, but the caps and the jerseys they were handed by the teams that drafted them. At the site of the NFL draft, Jeremy Schaap. I've known Jeremy Schaap for a long time. This is a hard-hitting reporter. <laughs> I've known him since he was just a youngster. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, this is one of the most impressive interviews. Your career has you skyrocketed right in front of my face. I can't say anything else. No, you can't. No, 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 that's the way Blazer. Blazer. Swear a blazer. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> See you, Jeff. 